Yeah, Nishant, good afternoon, Dr. Vijendra, speaking from your video. How are you? Yes, yes, sir. Good afternoon, I'm fine, sir. So, are we ready for the mock? Uh, yes, sir. So, you need to sit at a proper place. Uh, you should be audible and uh, no disturbance. Mm-hmm. Right. Nishant? Yes, sir. Yes, sir, I have taken care of all the things. Okay, okay, good. So, uh, we can start now, right? Yes, sir. Okay, Nishant, with me, there's uh, Vijendra Siklani, sir, also. So, we both will proceed for uh, mock. And the uh, first section is your introduction section, as you know. So I think we should uh, we should start with the first section. Yes, so sir. you you can start your introduction, and your time starts now. Uh, okay, sir. Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Nishant Raj. I am from Gidhar, a village in Jammu district of Bihar. It was one of the princely states in uh, British India, and uh, was ruled by uh, Chandil dynasty. uh my most of the uh, people in my family are uh, belong to a, a farming background and uh, hence my father was also a farmer he passed away in november 2019 my mother is a housewife i did my schooling from uh, bihar board after that i went on to pursue my bachelor of engineering in mechanical engineering from jadavpur university situated in the city of joy kolkata It is one of the best in, uh, institute in terms of number of uh, research paper pub- it publishes every year, and uh, it has also got a very um, large campus and um, al- and a very good alumni base. Uh, apart from studies uh, there, I also was a uh, member of a photography club and mountaineering club. I also joined uh, NCC and uh, pursued it for three years and achieved E certificate. Um, uh, in 2016, I also uh, was an organizer and core committee member of uh, our departmental tech test trajectory. I also participated in Robotris 2015, which is which was a robotic competition at zonal level. Uh, during my schooling, also I was uh, I participated in various competitions. Uh, I represented my state Bihar. at national level in 16th national children science congress held in dimapur nagaland i represented my district at state level in jawaharlal nehru science exhibition 2010 uh, my uh, i i like to i like swimming mountaineering and uh, also i like to uh, do wildlife photography now i would like to talk about my projects in my final year i did two projects the first one was to design main components of a high speed ci engine for which i was given some initial uh, constraints as constructional parameters uh, based on which i designed uh, based on that and designed calculations uh, with the help of empirical relations my design was done uh, the second project was uh, to calibrate uh, uh, strain gauge and uh, vibration and do its vibration testing for the calibration i um, uh, used raspberry pi and uh, uh, load cell amplifier Uh, and for the vibration testing i modeled uh, the strain gauge as a cantilevered beam and uh, uh, and vibrated it and the response was read with the help of an os- oscilloscope uh, vibration testing is very much a part of quality assurance program of various industries working with high speed uh, uh, high speed machineries now i would like to talk about my summer internship i along with my one of my friend uh, got selected by britannia industries limited for its orissa plant for a month uh, for the summer internship the project was to design and implement a sustainable and comprehensive preventive maintenance system for the factory and the objective was uh, to reduce the downtime uh, to less than 2% uh, with the help of data gathered uh, gathered uh, by different uh, departments there uh, and uh, use uh, grand charts different scheduling techniques uh, bar charts and history cards we developed uh, lubrication charts spare uh, change schedule daily monthly and weekly uh, checklist and preventive maintenance schedule uh, we also went on to implement those things with the help of technicians and the results were quite positive as the downtime was reduced to 2.1% to 3 uh, from 3.1% in the preceding month now i would like to talk about my job experience i got uh, campus placed in my final year in price water house coopers india limited in the year 2019 i uh, worked there for 11 months in the role of technology consultant in advisory line of service pwc is one of the best uh, consulting firms across the globe which provides various services to their clients my work there was to understand the need of the client and uh, work, and work as a team to uh, provide uh, to uh, provide solutions to them improve their business and uh, also improve the uh, maximize their uh, opportunities of uh, technology uses 
there uh, I work with different teams, uh, both as backend and frontend developer. I developed new codes for the clients, and uh, I also did manual testing for them. Apart from that, uh, my work also included uh, attending scrum calls, uh, rectifying the bugs, and um, presenting the solutions to the client. Uh, the exposure that I got uh, while working with the firm uh, uh, taught me a lot of things about the managerial domain, such as uh, time management, how to handle the project, uh, team spirit, uh, and many things. So uh, I realized that uh, being a part of institute like NITI will greatly enhance my those capabilities, those uh, project handling capabilities. And I am very sure that uh, after coming out of NITI, uh, I will be specialized in these kind of domains. So I'm very much interested uh, in uh, joining this institute, which is also called Board's own campus for some reason. That would be it, sir. Thank okay. you. So uh, I think then we proceed for the second question. So Lani, sir, will yeah. uh, provide you the sec second uh, section. Uh, so I can mm -hmm. go to you. Okay, uh, okay Nishant. Uh, uh, I will give you three topics, uh, and you are supposed to uh, speak on two topics. And mm -hmm. uh, you have to take not more than 2.5 minutes uh, for each topic, okay? Okay, sir. So first I will give you the three topics, then you will let me know the two topics on which you want to speak. Okay, sir. First topic is crime against women. Okay. Second one is Mars mission for India justified. Okay, sir. And third one is banking scams. Banking scams. Right. Okay, so, so let me know uh, the topics on which you want to speak. Uh, sir, I would uh, take first uh, topic and uh, and the uh, second topic. Okay. So, okay, Nishant, uh, start with the topic crime against women and uh, your time starts now. Uh, sir, uh, as uh, we are Indian and uh, we have globalized uh, right now, but uh, from the past uh, uh, past many years, uh, the uh, the women were uh, supposed to be a, uh, a per, uh, an object, supposed to be like an object who 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 had very limited rights. In India, the culture was such that uh, uh, in some parts, uh, the women had the privilege that uh, a man had, but uh, in many parts of the world. Uh, the women have, did not have so much rights, and uh, they were uh, subjected to different uh, uh, different type of distortions and uh, tortures, and uh, also their uh, their uh, subject uh, also their uh, uh, thought of as a burden uh, to for the parents uh, who uh, birth who who give birth to that uh, girl. So uh, crime rate is uh, not because of uh, uh, what, uh, not because of the um, education uh, only, but also because of the mentality that uh, a society has. Uh, they uh, think uh, them to be a burden. But uh, in the modern uh, scenario, we, we can think that uh, women are not uh, so much uh, dependent on uh, neither on the um, uh, on their parents nor on their husbands. But still, the society does not change much. We need to educate them, uh, of course, but uh, apart from that, society needs to understand that uh, women are not uh, a, a subject uh, who can uh, be tortured only, but uh, they are also uh, like their friends uh, because uh, they sometimes they become uh, sister, sometimes they are mother, sometimes they become wife and also a friend. So uh, crimes, uh, uh, crime against women uh, as, uh, in these scenarios, uh, supposedly are uh, very much uh, uh, in limelight, uh, not because uh, that uh, it uh, started now, but uh, it has always been there. But uh, the thing is that uh, now it has been reported much because the people have become more aware, not only the uh, men, but also women. They started speaking about the, uh, and uh, understood their rights, and that's why they started speaking about those things. So uh, for the... So uh, in future, I am think uh, I am seeing that uh, crime rate uh, against women will uh, necessarily decrease because there are so many stringent laws that uh, government is putting on those type of crimes. Even uh, if you uh, if you do some uh, you know some home uh, some home uh, fight also uh, there there are uh, provisions uh, to uh, uh, to uh, punish those people who are doing that. Uh, so I think uh, crime against women is going to decrease uh, in coming near, near future. But uh, at this time, it is uh, still a worrisome uh, figure about that. Uh, that 
if i think about that uh, so uh, obviously we need to educate the people and uh, we as people need to take uh, stand about those things that we will never do crime against women and uh, neither if we see someone to uh, doing that we will stop them thank you sir okay so let's move on to the second topic now that is okay. uh, mars mission friend. for india justified and uh, your time starts now the um, space missions have started uh, long back uh, from uh, soviet union to european union and uh, united states of america they were uh, very much uh, uh, explorative about uh, space because uh, uh, seeing the population crisis uh, the population uh, of the world and uh, where it is heading it is very much uh, required to uh, for us to uh, explore some other uh, planet as at, at least uh, not uh, uh, if i not say that uh, for the living then at least for the some minerals or uh, you know uh, some conventional fuel sources so uh, soviet union was the first to uh, send a manned mission uh, to the moon and uh, after that uh, mars apollo mars mission was uh, was uh, done by united states of america uh, in the presidency of uh, john f kennedy uh, which was also known as apollo mars mission which was very successful so uh, india was very back uh, very back in these uh, fields but uh, after uh, homi jahangir baba established the uh, isro and uh, and also performed certain uh, missions after that uh, and if you now see isro uh, at their peak uh, which is uh, which we can see he is uh, it is at its peak uh, and uh, has uh, and has amazed the world at various levels such as uh, at uh, like uh, the like the uh, launch of uh, chandrayaan 2 uh, and uh, if uh, we talk about the budget of mars vision as very many people are criticizing it uh, for the budget at uh, it takes a lot of uh, money in billions but uh, if you if you will think uh, the budget the annual budget uh, is uh, it is just only 1% to 2% of the annual budget of india so i think mars mission is very much justified and uh, in this competitive uh, environment uh, Uh, in the in the globalization and uh, for the race, uh, we always need to be uh, at the front uh, if we needed so so mass mission in india is a, a very good step uh, for the uh, for in, indian uh, space agency and it is good to go thank you sir okay. okay so i think we can move on to the next section okay so uh, nishant i give you three topics sir okay sir you have to choose any two and speak on that so uh first topic is uh, you can note first topic mm-hmm. the skills required to be a good manager okay skills required to be a good manager yeah second is okay. uh entrepreneurship cannot be taught entrepreneurship cannot be taught okay third is role of role of manager role in manager role of manager in innovation in innovation okay uh, okay sir i will select first and uh, second hello yeah tell me yes sir i will sec- uh, select first and second yeah go go yeah. ahead Skills. go mm-hmm. go ahead with uh, the first okay sir uh manager a manager is uh, someone who manages the uh, manages a company an organization or even a factory uh, a manager can be found uh, in in our home cooking our food and managing our houses uh, to uh, a man, uh, to the one who manages our space programs is a skilled manager uh, does not need to be uh, does not need to be a very much uh, uh, very much uh, you know very much knowledgeable person but uh, yeah he sh- he should have certain skills which are uh, very much required uh, uh, to handle the handle people and uh, as well as the resources a uh, skill required for a manager uh, we can say that uh, it it should uh, he should have a good leadership quality good communication skills apart from that uh, he should have the experience to handle things very well very efficiently uh, manage the resources etc so uh, i will talk uh, uh, about managerial role uh, in a context that uh, 
suppose our mother cooks food so uh, she she uh, what she does she know where the uh, where the food items are with the raw materials are and uh, she uses it uh, in an efficient manner and uh, from that she uh, makes some product uh, such, such as uh, uh, chapatis and vegetables so um, and she also makes sure that uh, mm-hmm. those foods does not get wasted so uh, she analyzes those things and uh, uh, handles them and controls the process in such a way that uh, uh, neither the um, chapatis go burn or uh, the vegetable gets gets tasteless so uh, those are the skills uh, so uh, same as uh, same for an organization a manager has to uh, had to be very uh, concerned about the product quality he should also manage the resources in a very efficient manner he should uh, know where uh, how many resource uh, uh, how much resource is uh, going to be applied he should also analyze the performance of the um, uh, workers here uh, he should motivate them if something uh, bad happens uh, such as uh, some machine failure or the our, uh, or the company is going into the loss he should know uh, he should uh, know how to motivate people to do their uh, to do their work and uh, give their 100% uh, a good manager is one who can uh, who can work with uh, people and uh, take them with uh, along with them uh, towards the goal of the industry or the organization to which he belongs thank you sir okay no 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 sir uh, uh, the role of man- uh, inter- entrepreneurship can't be taught uh sir uh, uh, entrepreneurship uh, um, as we know is uh, about uh, opening certain business uh, or uh, certain uh, certain organization or certain company in such a way that uh, it uh, it fulfills some needs of the people or uh, people of any country or even the uh, world he needs to uh, an an entrepreneur should uh, know what is the need of the uh, need of the people as like uh, there are many entrepreneurs that has happened uh, in uh, india and uh, and abroad who were not uh, uh, very much uh, very very much studious and they even uh, dropped out of colleges but they understood what the people want what are their needs how they suffer uh, when when they do their day to day activities what are their requirements and based on that uh, they uh, they made something out of uh, that idea they uh, they analyzed that idea they uh, thought about its uh, cost its uh, uh, its uh, effectiveness will it work in, inside the uh, uh, inside the country or not within the people he uh, he must have taken some survey and uh, he must have realized that uh, what is needed so uh, entrepreneurship is not about uh, what you study in your books because uh, that would give you the um, uh, give you the knowledge about uh, uh, how a company should be opened how what are the things that is to be taken care of but the uh, what are the uh, uh, reflex that comes into our mind uh, whenever we see something uh, happening uh, different in our uh, society or uh, which is, which uh, uh, which compels us to do something uh, about it so that thing uh, comes in our behavior in our uh, in our uh, attitude so so that's why we can say entrepreneurship is uh, not something that uh, could be taught in colleges it needs a lot of risk taking uh, ability it needs to uh, it needs to handle the um, absorb it needs the um, it needs the people to be uh, um, to be resilient if uh, something goes wrong uh, for example if uh, we take uh, mark zuckerberg at the age of 14 he started uh, making a uh, different software which uh, were very useful for the society and uh, so them to uh, bigger company and uh, he uh, himself started uh, facebook uh, after some time and uh, he is now the uh, one of the richest man in the world and uh, he, facebook is quite popular uh, in the world uh, apart from that uh, i we can take the example of uh, uh, bill gates and uh, indian uh, indian entrepreneur jrd uh, tata and uh, nirbhay ambani uh, you know jrd tata is, was uh, uh, was uh, uh was uh, very much qualified but uh, he was not not entrepreneurship rather he was a pilot uh, uh, in his career 
but uh, still he managed it managed to uh, open his own company and uh, same is uh, the case with uh, uh, dhirubhai ambani he was also not a very big uh, person in his life he was a very lower medium class uh, person but he uh, uh, but uh, we can see how the reliance industries uh, have grown in his uh, ownership so uh, antarshan entrepreneurship should come uh, from within not uh, uh, from the books so that is all sir thank okay, you okay. so nishan uh, let me give you feedback uh, for your introduction and the topics which i gave you for saklani sir's feedback so as okay. far as the introduction is concerned i think uh, you have spoken well uh, but i believe you have exceeded the time limit also i think it's uh, yes. almost 5 or little more than 5 you need to yes. uh, reduce your pace and some content also you need try to reduce that so just uh, audio clip will come to you just think of uh, where extra you have spoken so like a btech project or something which is unnecessary need not to be told you know most effective introduction will be where you are telling something to the listener and he is getting it interested to know what you are speaking so whatever you are telling him if he remembers after the after listening then that means you have spoken well so sometime you no know, extra information may not be required like if you are talking so much about the btech project like in btech project all you have to tell is uh, what was the title of the project what was the aim or objective of the project and what was the outcomes of the project and what was your role so if you divide everything in two parts very clearly then impression will be better so suppose i say sir uh, my btech project title was this and sir the main objective of this project was this my role in that project was this and after the project was successfully completed its contribution to this particular field can be this it will be useful for industry or it will be useful for the society in this particular way and we could do that so that's over and then you can uh, in your introduction you have to somewhere link uh, about your personality about you to nitty course why i mean i think i should find you suitable for the course in nitty i should see that ki sir when i was doing the project or when i was doing internship i realized that in industry it is not only important to have knowledge technical knowledge but what is more important is managerial skills also should be there there are certain soft skills which are required to get work done so then i felt the need of having such kind of degree or some kind of place something like nitty and from there i decided to go for nitty so apne introduction mein usko link bitha do ki why you are suitable for nitty kind of in situation something like that if you can do that is very good that will be very useful fine this is what you have to do in introduction now coming to the two topics which i gave you number first topic was uh, i think uh, the skills required in manager that was the first topic given to you so you should know there are certain skills required you say manager is as the name shows he is the executive who is to manage certain activities so the organization is there company is there and there are certain activities to be done and those activities are to be properly managed now in any industry it is the processes which actually are implemented and uh, ultimate objective is to convert some kind of input into output in any industry and that output can be in the form of product or it can be in the form of resource, uh, services like hospital may the output <laughs> is uh, when you give the treatment to the patient and the raw material is the patient which comes then you give him some kind of treatment and he goes as a healthy man out input to output and the industry is hospital similarly student comes to the school goes out as a learned fellow output now in this entire process manager is to manage entire show he is to manage the various resources so what are the skills required in manager are number 1 his own personality traits like he should be disciplined he should be uh, having respect for time management he should be person who is having good communication skill good interpersonal skills who is uh, obedient who is uh, basically sincere fellow and uh, who can gel up with others and uh, who is uh, optimistic forward looking fellow and he can uh, be laborious he can work get work done those these skills are required team membership and all these things whatever you can think of and then you can show the relevance of each of them like why why he should have good communication skill because he is to make others understand what his perspective is why he should have a good team membership skills because he is to work in a team he is to get work done and as you said uh, leadership role uh, leadership qualities also he should have because he is to lead a team that is a skills required then next topic which you picked it up uh, that was entrepreneurship can be yeah. taught or something 
so you see it is not that you have to take the same view which is given in the title you can uh, you can take the different view also you can uh, be different also you may agree you may not agree to what topic is given so if you say sir i partially agree and partially i disagree so entrepreneurship in my opinion can be inculcated also you can say yes uh, entrepreneurship depends for two things number one is your personality trait the people who have naturally risking capability or they are having entrepreneurship in their trait as a personality trait they will be entrepreneur only but then ecosystem environment should also promote entrepreneurship if you go to gujarat you will find that the ecosystem itself promotes you to be entrepreneur i mean opening your own venture but if you go to yes. other states where government job craze is there so then entrepreneurship is not there so that means ecosystem also plays a role why we get maximum entrepreneur from uh, big b school only business schools only because uh, once you get a degree from b school you are confident that you will get job so let's try let's take a risk so risk taking capability increases once you graduate from really good b school your peer group uh, uh, good peer group you get it you get a group over there and maybe uh, you learn certain traits like uh, skills like taking loan and marketing strategies and all ideas you get when mentors teach you so these things help you in entrepreneurship so you will say yes sir one is personality another is ecosystem in ecosystem yes. comes your family society and educational institution all all when they will promote you for that suppose your father keeps on telling you you should become entrepreneur you will become entrepreneur someday but suppose your father is highly against even if by trade you are entrepreneur uh, but your father is highly against it you will join the government job maybe you will not go for that so entrepreneurship yes you can say 70% is what you are or by personality 30% can be inculcated in your personality something like that you can say so you can take a view uh, on your own and always in these kind of uh, controversial issues you think of taking mixed view so that both the things are in included in that so entrepreneurship okay. can be in the personality also and it can be inculcated also you can learn it also how to uh, open the venture how to get into that fine Mm-hmm. Okay. Just, uh, mm-hmm. One yeah. question uh, that uh, will there be more, enough time to think about the uh, yes that is that is my second point I was coming to my second point in fact I want to tell to all the students they have given you five minutes time and I I was observing that no student is speaking for five minutes number one and even if they are speaking they are not speaking sense they are adding certain things which are not to be added third is four minute is more than sufficient I think to make your point clear. So, if you speak for two minutes on particular topic very nicely, that is more than sufficient. That will give you credit instead of keep on speaking for long. So, if a student speaks his introduction, he talks for five minutes, but it is not that impressive. Far better than that is if somebody is speaking only for three and half minutes, but it is impressive. So, what I think is uh, before you start answering any question, you should a little bit make a mental map of what you are going to say because that will make your speech very good so maybe you can have a pen there and paper there and you can write before you start speaking make a small uh, structure like and uh, managerial skills what are the managerial skills maybe immediately in 30 seconds you can write okay interpersonal skill communication skill team management then uh, discipline or something like that so you wrote five six points and when you are elaborating on that you cannot forget them and the flow will be maintained so give you for 30 second in the beginning to so basically write something which will help you to maintain up so that is what i mean that has to be okay okay okay, okay. nishant let us now move on to the feedback of the topic that i had given to you so ha to so nishant aapne jo first topic aapko diya tha wo tha crime against women yes sir ठीक है और इसके ऊपर आपने रफली जो है तीन मिनट बोला ढाई से तीन मिनट बोला और जो सेकंड टॉपिक था मार्स मिशन फॉर इंडिया जस्टिफाइड और नॉट जस्टिफाइड इसके ऊपर आपने रफली दो मिनट डेढ़ से दो मिनट बोला आई थिंक ठीक है अब पहला अगर पहले उसकी बात करें टॉपिक की बात करें तो क्राइम अंगेस्ट वुमेन तो एक सिंक्रोनाइज वे में तो नहीं बोल पाए आप, आप आपने मतलब जो आपका एक्सप्रेस करने की एबिलिटी थी जब मैं आपका इंट्रोडक्शन इंट्रोडक्शन सुन रहा था तो फ्लो बहुत बहुत ही प्रॉपर फ्लो था उसमें ठीक है वो हो सकता है आपने तैयार किया हो और इंट्रोडक्शन जो है वो बहुत प्रॉपर तरीके से आपने मतलब फ्लो बनटेन था जैसे टॉपिक आया तो आपका वो जो रिदम है ना बिल्कुल ही मतलब देर वॉज अ ड्राफ्टिक चेंज इन द रिदम क्योंकि उसमें क्या हो रहा था कि आपके ब्रेक्स लग रहे थे सेंटेंस प्रॉपर नहीं थे एंड आप बिट्स एंड पीसीज में बोल रहे थे पूरा 
इवन कई जगह तो ऐसा था कि आपका जो है सेंटेंस भी वो प्रॉपर नहीं था बट उस व्यू पॉइंट को बोले जा रहे थे बोले जा रहे थे समथिंग दैट वे ठीक है तो इसको थोड़ा सा वही है जो अभी आपको डॉक्टर विजेंद्र ने बताया कि आपने क्या करना है जो भी टॉपिक दिया जाए शुरू में ही थोड़ा सा आपने क्या करना है टाइम लेना है ठीक है कि किस डायरेक्शन में बोलना है अगर क्राइम अंगेस्ट वोमेन है तो थोड़ा सा आपने जो है उसको मतलब थोड़ा सा सोच लेना है कि शुरू में मैंने क्या पॉइंट बोलने हैं उसके बाद क्या बोलना है डॉलर जैसे मान लिया पहले थोड़ा सा आप क्राइम के बारे में बोल देते जैसे अगर आप इसको एक मैप बनाना चाहो इसका तो आप पहले क्राइम अंगेज वोमेन के बारे में थोड़ा बोल देते सिविलाइज सोसाइटी में जो है वो देर इज नो प्लेस फॉर द क्राइम अंगेस्ट एनी इंडिविजुअल इस तरीके से आपने एक मतलब वो बैकग्राउंड तैयार कर दिया ठीक है शुरू में बिल्कुल बिल्कुल जैसे आपको टॉपिक दिया ना जैसे आपने कितना बोला आपने तीन मिनट बोला इसमें ढाई से तीन मिनट बोला पर ढाई से तीन मिनट आपने जो है बहुत ही मतलब क्योंकि आप जो है वो यू आर फम्बलिंग फॉर द आइडिया तो कई जगह आप रिपीट कर रहे थे बार बार उसी को एजुकेशन यहाँ से ली वहाँ ली फिर बार मतलब एजुकेशन ही तीन चार बार आपने रिपीट की है ठीक है शुरू में बोला फिर बीच में बीच में कुछ और लेके आए फिर आप उसको लास्ट में द्वारा जो है वो एजुकेशन को लेके आए मतलब दैट वे तो शुरू में ही अगर मान लिया आप दस सी अगर आप दस सेकंड भी ले लेते हो शुरू में ढाई मिनट बोलने हैं आपने तो दस से पंद्रह सेकंड भी ले लेते हो तो दस से पंद्रह सेकंड आपके लिए सफिशियंट है मेंटल मैप तैयार करने के लिए ठीक है पर अगर आपने टाइम लिया जैसे मैंने आपको क्या कहा मैंने कहा योर टाइम स्टार्ट नाउ अभी मैंने दिया था टॉपिक ऑलमोस्ट इंस्टेंटेनियसली आप शुरू हो गए तो ऐसे जब शुरू हो जाओगे किसी टॉपिक के ऊपर तो वो तो उस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम पे जो भी आपके दिमाग में थॉट आई होगी पहले आपने कुछ ग्लोबलाइज करके कुछ बोला इन द ग्लोबलाइज वर्ल्ड समथिंग जैसे करके चल पड़े आप पर यहीं पर हाँ पर यहीं पर अगर आप जो है थोड़ा सा मौका मिल गया होता आपको सोचने का तो आप इसको अपने आप ही जो है इसको एक चैनलाइज कर देते समझो ना बात थॉट प्रोसेस जैसे जैसे आपने ये कहा ना तो मैंने किया जैसे ही आपने खत्म किया तो मैंने किया इसका मैप बनाया और फटाफट कुछ पॉइंट जो डाउन कर लिए क्यों जो डाउन कर पाया क्योंकि मुझे जो है वो पांच दस सेकंड मिल गए तो मैं फटाफट वो एक मतलब एक फ्लो बना पाया पर अगर मुझे टाइम मिलता ही नहीं मैंने सोचा ही नहीं होता पहले तो हो सकता है जैसे आप बोल रहे हो रेंडमली मैं बोलूंगा फिर ठीक है हाँ तो वो टाइम लेना उसमें कुछ नहीं पड़ेगा मतलब उससे फर्क नहीं पड़ेगा कि आप टाइम ले रहे हो अगर ये अच्छी बात है कि आप टाइम सोचने के लिए टाइम ले रहे हो उसके बाद आपका फ्लो में कंटिन्यूटी है तो जैसे फॉर एग्जांपल आप क्या बोलते थे पहले कि किसी भी सोशलाइज सोसाइटी में देर इज क्राइम के लिए जो है किसी भी इंडिविजुअल के गेस्ट देर इज नो स्कोप फॉर द क्राइम लीव अ साइड द मोमन राइट बट क्योंकि फ्रॉम द वेरी पास जो है जो वोमेन है इट वोमेन हैज बिन कंसिडर्ड एज ए वीकर सेक्स तो बाई द मीनिंग ऑफ द वर्ड इट सेल्फ ये आइडिया देता है कि आपका जो है एक सेक्स को आप क्या कंसिडर कर रहे हो विकर कंसिडर कर रहे हो दूसरे को स्ट्रॉगर कंसिडर कर रहे हो तो इस दैट काइंड ऑफ सिचुएशन विल हैपन दैन डेफिनेटली कहीं ना कहीं इम्बेलेंस होगा ही और आप किसी ना किसी फॉर्म में रिफ्लेक्ट हो जाएगा अब ये जो चीज है ये क्या होगी आपका उसी में से पॉइंट निकलेगा मतलब बना बनाया पॉइंट नहीं होगा कहीं भी पर ये है क्योंकि आपको पता है कि मैंने इसको जो है ढाई मिनट में कवर करना तो आप है रेलेवेंट पॉइंट है तो शुरुआती कहा आपने बोले विकर सेक्स है तो अगर विकर सेक्स है तो जो मीनिंग है इसका इसी से अगर जो आपकी थिंकिंग है वो जनरेट करती है कि एक स्ट्रॉगर है विकर है तो कहीं ना कहीं बैलेंस को मेंटेन होगा ही होगा फिर आपने एक पॉइंट जो मैंशन किया कि जो आपने मैंशन किया रिगार्ड की हमने जो है वो देर हैज बिन टेंडेंसी इन द सोसाइटी टू व्यू द वुमेन एज ए ऑब्जेक्ट ऑफ सेक्सुअल डिजायर ठीक है तो ये जो दो पॉइंट्स है तो ये दो पॉइंट्स अगर आप मेंशन कर दे फिर आप उसको रिलेट कर देते कि मोस्टली uh, uh, जो है बिकॉज ऑफ दिस टू जो थिंकिंग जो है uh, जो मैंने मेंशन की इसके कारण जो है रिलेटिवली जो है क्राइम्स अंगेस्ट वोमेन जो है दे हैव बीन लार्ज राइट और और uh, फिर आप उसको ले जाते कि इन्होंने ही बेसिकली डायरेक्टली और इनडायरेक्टली कहीं ना कहीं जो है इस थिंकिंग ने ही बेसिकली क्या किया है इन क्राइम क्राइम्स को जो है वो क्या किया है uh, बढ़ावा दिया है प्रोत्साहन दिया है समथिंग दैट वे ठीक है फिर आ जाते हैं आप इससे होता है कि आपका ये जो पॉइंट थे इससे आपका कम से कम एक मिनट तो आपका लग ही जाता है इसमें एक से डेढ़ मिनट हाँ सर फिर बच गया जो फिर आप ले जाते कि जो आपने पॉइंट मेंशन किया था कि क्राइम्स ऐसा नहीं था पहले भी नहीं थे सो देर वर ऑल्सो द क्राइम्स अर्लियर ऑल्सो राइट इन पास ऑल्सो देर वर द क्राइम्स अगेंस्ट द वोमेन बट उस वक्त जो है वो वुमेन दे नेवर केम इन ओपन टू एंड डिट लाइक इन्फॉर्म टू द राइट लाइक चाहे पुलिस को होगी या दैट वे तो इसलिए वो दे डिट हाईलाइटेड राइट 
अब क्या है मीडिया भी बहुत एक्टिव हो गया है देर आर सो मेनी अदर प्लेटफॉर्म थ्रू विच वुमेन कैन लाइक पुट दे ग्रीवियंस इन ओपन एंड बिकॉज ऑफ द सोसाइटी ने भी उनको प्रमोट किया है राइट right? उसमें सोसाइटी का रोल भी बताना है आपने ऐसा नहीं है सोसाइटी को नेगेटिव में ही बताना है सोसाइटी ने प्रमोट किया कि सच काइंड ऑफ थिंग्स हैपन देन दिस वुड बी रिपोर्टेड इमीडिएटली इट शुड नॉट इट शुड नॉट बी टेकन अदरवाइज राइट तो इसलिए आपने ये बता दिया कि क्राइम्स हैं तो वोमेन के क्यों बढ़ रहे हैं वो बढ़ रहे हैं रिपोर्टिंग ज्यादा हो रही है वोमेन दे हैव बिकम गोल्ड नाउ दे आर कमिंग इन ओपन दे आर रिपोर्टिंग दोज क्राइम्स एंड दैट इज वाई जो आज की डेट में हमें ऐसे लगता है कि अभी क्राइम ज्यादा हुए हैं पास में नहीं थे बट ऐसी सिचुएशन नहीं है पास में भी थे बट दे वर नॉट गेटिंग हाईलाइटेड राइट अब सिर्फ इसका सोल्यूशन आपने दे देना है कि इसका सोल्यूशन क्या है जो क्राइम अंगेस्ट वोमेन है तो सबसे पहले तो हम बोलेंगे कि जहां से दिक्कत शुरू हुई उसी को जो है आपने क्या करना है हाईलाइट करना है कि जो माइंड है आपका वो सबसे पहले तो हमें क्या करना पड़ेगा वो माइंडसेट में चेंज लानी पड़ेगी एंड उसके लिए आपको क्या करना एजुकेट करना पड़ेगा राइट right? उसके लिए yes, साथ में एजुकेशन ही अपने आप में सफिशियन नहीं होगा हमें स्ट्रिंजेंट लॉ भी बनाने पड़ेंगे जो कि इंडिया में बने भी हुए हैं राइट सो दैट दर इज ए फियर की हाँ अगर कोई क्राइम करता है तो क्या कहते हैं उसको पनिशमेंट मिल सकती है राइट और सबसे बड़ी बात की जो अगर लॉज है दे शुड बी प्रॉपरली इंप्लीमेंटेड and if there is any crime against a woman then justice should be delivered timely तो ये चीजें आपको पता है सारी जो मैंने कही वो चीजें ये हैं कि आपने एक परस्पेक्टिव में लानी है फ्लो में लानी है और कुछ नहीं है तो जो फ्लो में ले आए अगर ये इतना ही सोच पाए आप कि मैंने शुरू में क्या बोलना है नेक्स्ट स्टेप में क्या बोलना है थर्ड में क्या बोलना है देन कंक्लूजन पे क्या बोलना है अगर इतना थोड़ी देर शुरू में ही विजुअलाइज कर पाए तो उन पॉइंट्स को बोलते बोलते आप उसको इलेबोरेट कर पाओगे डेफिनेटली है ना क्लियर ओके सर अब बात कर देते हैं सेकंड की भी सेकंड क्या था मार्स मिशन फॉर इंडिया जस्टिफाइड ठीक है शुरू में आपने जो है अरे आपने जो कहा वो बता देता हूं मैं आपने ये कहा कि स्पेस मिशन जो है बहुत पीछे स्टार्ट हुए यूरोपियन यूनियन और रशिया ने भी स्टार्ट किए फिर आपने कुछ कहा कि रिक्वायर टू एक्सप्लोर बिकॉज लार्ज पॉपुलेशन है ये पॉइंट रेलिवेंट नहीं लगा मुझे इस स्टेज पे शुरू में ही आप उसको पॉपुलेशन से कोरिलेट कर रहे हो ठीक है फिर आपने मिनरल्स एंड ऑल दैट वो मेंशन कर दिया फिर एक पॉइंट आपने बताया उसमें कि होमी जहांगीर बाबा ये तो इसरो के इसरो स्टेब्लिश थोड़ी किया उन्होंने होमी जहांगीर बाबा ने भाभा टॉमिक रिसर्च सेंटर मेरे ख्याल उनके नाम पे जो पड़ा वो इसरो के इस्टेब्लिशमेंट थोड़ी किया उन्होंने सॉरी सर आई मिस इंटरप्रेटेड द नेम हाँ तो ऐसा है कि जब ऐसी चीज आ जाए जहां पर आपको फैक्चुअल इन्फॉर्मेशन करेक्टली बता ना हो तो उसमें बताओ मत मतलब उसको बताने की जरूरत नहीं है ठीक है उसमें आप ऐसे बोल सकते कि सिंस द इस्टेब्लिशमेंट ऑफ द इसरो ठीक है फिर बहुत सारे काम किए हैं दैट वे फिर पीक अमेज द वर्ल्ड चंद्रयान मिशन एंड मेनी पीपल क्रिटिसाइजिंग बजट चलो ये वाला पार्ट जो है बजट वाला पार्ट अच्छा बजट वाले पार्ट में भी आप बोलगे कि इट इज जस्ट वन टू टू परसेंट ऑफ द बजट ऑफ ईयरली बजट ऑफ इंडिया ये जो आप बता रहे हो मुझे लग रहा है ये फैक्चुअली करेक्ट नहीं है वन टू टू परसेंट सर आई रेड इट समेयर रेड इट समेयर अगर करेक्ट है अगर फैक्चुअली करेक्ट है तब तो आप बोल सकते हो बट कोशिश करो कि जहां पर बहुत क्लैरिटी नहीं है तो वहां ना बताया जाए ठीक है सो फिर बार बार आपने वेरी गुड स्टेप अब इसको मैं थोड़ा सा समराइज कर देता हूँ कि आप कैसे स्टार्ट कर सकते थे मार्ज मिशन फॉर इंडिया जस्टिफाइड और नॉट तो पहले आप बोलते थे कि एज ए बैकग्राउंड कि ह्यूमन बींग्स हैड ऑलवेज हैड क्यूरियासिटी टू एक्सप्लोर द आउटर स्पेस ठीक है टू स्टार्ट विद द जो डेवलप्ड वर्ल्ड है आज की डेट में दे टू द फर्स्ट इनिशिएटिव एंड द यूरोपियन यूनियन एंड रशिया जो है उन्होंने अपने स्पेस मिशन जो है वो स्टार्ट किए एंड ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ दो स्पेस मिशन व टू लाइक एक्सप्लोर द यूनिवर्स एक्सप्लोर द प्लेनेट टू नो देयर मेकअप एंड टू एक्सप्लोर द पॉसिबिलिटी ऑफ लाइफ बिकॉज वी हैव ए वेरी स्कार्स अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द आउटर स्पेस ठीक है तो पहले अगर आप आप देखो कि मैंने स्पेस मिशन uh, इसके बारे में तो बात ही नहीं की मार्स मिशन मिशन की बात ही नहीं की आई एम जस्ट टॉकिंग अबाउट द स्पेस मिशन और उसकी रिक्वायरमेंट क्यों है जो वाई ह्यूमन बींग्स आर एक्सप्लोरिंग द आउटर स्पेस ठीक है इतना टाइम आपको ऑलमोस्ट आधे से एक मिनट में आपने कवर कर दिया ठीक है फिर आप आ जाते हैं इंडिया के कॉन्टेक्स्ट में आपने अपोलो एंड ऑल दैट भी कुछ एग्जांपल दिए अगर आपको पता है उनके बारे में थोड़ा बहुत दैट इज ओके ठीक है फिर आप मेंशन कर सकते हैं इंडिया आल्सो स्टार्टेड इट स्पेस मिशन एंड एंड आल्सो इंडिया हैज लॉन्च मेनी सेटेलाइट्स एंड उसके बाद सेटेलाइट्स लॉन्च करने के बाद जिसमें हम 
इंडिपेंडेंट हो गए हैं और मून और हमने मार्स मिशन भी लॉन्च किया और उसमें हमने सक्सेस भी ली ठीक है अब इसमें ये बोलते हैं कि लॉन्चिंग ऑफ द स्पेस जो जो भी स्पेस मिशन है उसका कुछ ऑब्जेक्टिव है तो उसमें क्या होगा कि आपका व्हेन सच काइंड ऑफ स्पेस मिशंस आर टेकन दे विल लीड टू द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द टेक्नोलॉजी तो जब टेक्नोलॉजी डेवलपमेंट होगी दैट विल लीड टू द सेल्फ सस्टेनेंस राइट तो फॉर एग्जांपल अगर हम बात करते हैं कि सैटेलाइट के लॉन्च में इंडिया इंडिपेंडेंट uh, कैसे हो गया uh, आज की डेट में वी आर अर्निंग द फॉरन करेंसी इवन द लॉन्चिंग द सेटेलाइट ऑफ फॉरन नेशन राइट so yes, that is only possible because at certain point of time we have uh, made we made the decision to develop that technology at that point of time also we have to invest a certain amount of money to hum ye bol sakte hain that is a kind of investment ye kharcha nahi hai aapka it's a kind of investment with the uh, like uh, ki uh, with the perspective ki hum future mein jo hai uski return milengi right yes sir and yes, also sir. फिर अगर आप बीच में मेंशन करना चाहो जो थोड़ा बहुत आपने सुना होता है कि इट इज आल्सो सेड दैट कि फ्यूचर में जो वॉर्स हैं दे विल बी द स्पेस वॉर्स लड़े जाएंगे राइट दे विल बी दे विल बी फॉर्ट लाइक स्पेस वॉर्स विल बी फॉर्ट सो इफ फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू आर नॉट रेडी विद द टेक्नोलॉजी देन वी विल बी लेगिंग बिहाइंड इन दैट फ्रंट ऑल्सो सो लुकिंग इन टू ऑल दिस परस्पेक्टिव सो वी हैव टू Uh, definitely support the these kind of uh, space missions but not at the expense of the other uh, sectors of the economy to iska matlab ye jada last sentence ka ki aap ye bolo ki kharcha to karna hi padega aapko but bahut hi jada nahi kar sakte jitna optimum ho sakta utna karna padega hmm to ye matlab to ha to ye mere khayal se ye thoda hai ek usme workout karo thoda sa time lo sochne mein uh, i think uh, baki uh, wahi points hai more or less wahi hai jo Uh, आपने ही बोले पर थोड़ा सा मैंने इसको रिफ्रेम किया अब एक चीज और ध्यान रख लो कि जहां पर क्या है कि आपको कई जगह दिक्कत ये आएगी कि पॉइंट आपके पास है पर उसको uh, एक प्रॉपर फॉर्म में एक्सप्रेस करने में डिफिकल्टी होती है कई बार तो वो जो पॉइंट है ना तो उसको शुरुआत चाहे इंग्लिश में कर दो बीच में हिंदी ले आओ मिक्स कर दो अगर मान लीजिए जहां फंस गए तो वहां पर क्या करो हिंदी का वर्ड यूज कर लो ठीक है उससे क्या होगा कंटिन्यूटी ब्रेक नहीं होती नहीं तो क्या होता है कि आपके दिमाग में थॉट है पर थॉट को जब आपने इंग्लिश के उस लैंग्वेज में एक्सप्रेस करना शुरू किया तो आपको आगे दिक्कत आ गई वर्ड की अब जब वर्ड नहीं आया तो वर्ड ने आपको टेंशन भी दी टेंशन क्या दी कि आपको दिमाग में ही लगेगा कि यार मेरे मुझे वो पॉइंट याद नहीं आ रहा है तो जो अगला पॉइंट बोलना होगा वो भी भूल जाओगे वो मिस हो जाएगा तो उस कंटिन्यू बैठ रहा है बीच में आप यूज कर लो वर्ड जहां फंस ही गए तो दैट कंटिन्यूटी आपकी मेंटेन रहे राइट तो थोड़ा सा होलिस्टिक बनाने की कोशिश करना है उसको और शुरू में थोड़ा सा टाइम ले लो सोचने के लिए ओके सर सर कैन आई गिव अनदर मॉक इंटरव्यू हेलो अभी आपको जो है ना क्या कहते हैं अभी आपका कॉल आ गई है उसमें तो कब है आपका नेक्स्ट वो सर ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी सेकेंड ट्वेंटी सेकेंड को ही आपका शेड्यूल हो गया है ऑलरेडी यस सर ओके सो आई थिंक यू नीड टू स्पीक टू निकिता मैडम कि बीच में स्लॉट मिल पाता है कि नहीं कैसे हो पाएगा तो एक बार यू कैन टॉक टू हर ठीक है ऑन दैट सेम व्हाट्सएप नंबर राइट राइट आई थिंक यू मस्ट बी है ना एक बार बात कर लो कि अगर स्लॉट फिक्स हो पाता है कि नहीं है क्योंकि अब टाइम बहुत ज्यादा रहा नहीं है फिर भी आप ट्राई कर लो कि पॉसिबल हो पाएगा और रेस्ट ये है कि आप इन छोटी छोटी चीजों के ऊपर थोड़ा सा ध्यान दो आई थिंक उसमें इंप्रूवमेंट हो जाएगी ठीक है ओके सर ओके सर थैंक यू लॉट सर थैंक यू